Hello, Burgess here, and welcome to Adventures in Regression Therapy with my colleague and team member, Monique Glover, over there in Canada. So as part of our conversation today, what are we going to talk about, Monique? So I'm excited for this one, Steve, because this is something really new that's happening for us. And it's something that's not happening just in isolation with one of us. This has been happening in more and more of your sessions and my sessions, um, in our greater teams sessions, we meet regularly. And this is just a wave of these experiences that are happening for clients just recently. It seems just maybe in the last, I don't know, maybe even month, couple of months, not even maybe um, the last month or so. Uh, but we're finding that more and more clients are having these extraterrestrial contact experiences during sessions. Um, and of course, without leading them in any fashion whatsoever, a lot of them are having just very standard for us sessions. And all of a sudden this energy is coming in and they are kind of having this experience and um, the healing that's coming through with it is extraordinary as well too. You know, people coming to us for all sorts of reasons, anxiety, depression, physical issues, confidence, you know, it's not just one particular issue that we're working with. And this energy is coming in during sessions and the clients are walking out afterwards. And some of them worked for, for several sessions. And there's just this phenomenal uh, shift that's taking place. And like I said, very recent, um, that there's something something in the air. So we thought we'd talk about that today because it's just something very new and exciting. Good. Thanks, Wally. It's a nice introduction. Now. Very good. Yeah, well, we, as regression therapists, everybody knows that we sort of work at the outer fringes, if you like, of what is sort of known as normal therapy um, with past life regression and ancestral regression. But certainly, um, for me, it's been happening occasionally for a few years, but over the last few months, just time after time with clients. And what has been initially happening is that um, they appear to have been going back onto into past lives where they've been living on other planets in a different life form, um, in a different energy form very often, very often without even a, a human, a, a physical body, mm -hmm. um, maybe just an energetic body. Um, and what they tend to report in those uh, experiences to begin with um, is great peace, um, incredible feelings of compassion. Um, they are maybe they're dressed in light robes, they're uh, telepathically communicating with each other um, in, the, in these off planet experiences. Um, and that has been sort of quite remarkable for many of them. However, and this is which is what we're leading into, the most interesting thing, and this is new for us. Now, it isn't new for other people. This has been around for a number of years, but certainly for us as our team and getting the same sort of experiences over the past few months, time after time, um, it appears that our clients are in the human form now in this body and are still able to connect to what I call their home beings, which are basically um, the beings who they've been with in the past lives on other planets or on, on another planet. And they are now able to connect with those beings who are still up there in space, you could say, um, energetically connecting to our clients. And it appears that they're able to bring these energies down now. And by connecting to their home beings, it's as though a lot of them don't even feel at home on earth. A lot of them have said, this makes so much sense. Why I've always felt weird down here. It doesn't feel right to be down here on earth. And as you know, everybody knows, I always call this planet asylum because of the insanity that we live with day after day down here. Uh, but they're saying that it doesn't have to be like this. And they are connecting with their home beings and bringing these energies through down onto Earth now. And that's the sort of the main theme, isn't it? The main thrust of this. Yes. Yeah, this um, starseed idea that they haven't, either they're very new to Earth or maybe even 
um, timeline wise. I don't know if you noticed that with your clients as well too, Steve, that it's, it's like they don't go that far back that we have some clients that they can go back thousands and thousands of years in their past lives. And it seems like a lot of these people, it's just a kind of, it only goes back so far. Um, it's almost like they're new to earth, not necessarily new souls, but new to this whole earth game. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And the peacefulness, like you said, there's just this peacefulness that comes with it. Um, and I mean, we see it, we're watching for different symptoms while um, or different symptoms, different physical cues from the body while we're in session. And you can visibly see the body softening and opening. And it's, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing to yeah. witness it and to be in that energy. Yes, and yes, yes. feel it too as the therapist. It's just something, something that you can't put words to. Yeah. The, the client yeah. comes away from the session with an incredible lightness inside of them. Yes. Um, this yeah. happened particularly, I have a client in France just before Christmas in the first session, mm -hmm. um, her subconscious, we were working on blockages because she can't move on in her life. She's totally blocked. Mm -hmm. Now, what I was expecting, because uh, she's trying to set up a new business and it just isn't happening. Every time she tries to do something, she says, something just pushes me back. And what I expected was a standard regression session where we'd be unblocking blockages from the past, traumas in this life or past lives or her ancestors' lives. Mm. Her subconscious didn't want to do any of that. And it wanted to take her into an extraterrestrial experience. And as soon as I asked her subconscious if that's where we should go, she was straight there. And she said, wow, she said, it's as though, and she's obviously in trance, she said, I'm visualizing, I'm sitting in the center, there's 12 beings, like 12 elders from another planet, all sitting around me, and telepathically, they're saying to me, where have you been? We've been waiting for you. They keep saying this, where have you been? We've been waiting for you. And she then realized that she's from their planet, they are her home beings. And we then, they wanted to create a healing process inside her body now, which would help her to start to transmit these energies down here onto Earth. And we did that. We did a sort of a chakra clearing or a chakra work. Um, and I'm never sure about chakras, but uh, the, the beings wanted to work with the chakras. Um, and they created different colors to the standard ones that we would know for our chakra system. But at the end of the session, that was the work. The healing was done. She said the blockages are cleared. That's it. The work has been done. And since then, she's had a consistent direct line to these beings where they are regularly downloading information to her. They are connecting with her regularly. And so, <clears throat> and this is the concept, to be a star seed, to bring this higher energy down onto planet asylum in order for this energy to start spreading out. And the more people are doing this, my guess is the, the more it's helping with the, with the awakening that's going on down here. Mm. And I know you've said that you've certainly kind of seen it here or there over the last couple of years, and the frequency has really picked up in mm. the past couple of months. I mean, going on to almost 32 years now, is this something that you saw at the beginning of your career or is this something that's just totally yes. new right now and i mean you've used when we've talked about this before you've used the word trending this is trending and um it's something that has been happening occasionally over the past few years but over the past few months i mean in, in the last two weeks alone i've had six clients who have all had these experiences in the last two weeks so it's definitely trending. And of course, we watched Lee Harris. We're great fans of, uh, of Lee Harris, the wonderful uh, English intuitive. And uh, what, what was he talking about recently with his latest uh, energy update? Oh, it was about, um, what was it? That the the new norm is not normal or something. I can't remember the exact. That, what, is, what is not normal is now yes. the new normal. Yes. What is not normal yes. is now the new normal, he said. Yes. And then he talked around that. <laughs> yeah and he specifically mentioned people he knows having these I think he called them cosmic or galactic experiences and I remember 
listening to that and, you know, contacting you after <laughs> with my mind blown because I think we just literally had this conversation um, a day before of what's happening with clients experiencing this. And then he picks up on this energy um, and it just makes you realize, okay, this is something bigger yes. going on. Bigger, yeah. much bigger. I think there's something very significant here. I mean, in a way, none of this is new because this sort of concept of star seeds. I mean, Dolores Cannon, you know, the, the great past life um, worker, uh, therapist, um, you know, she talked about this. She even published at least one book about this. Mm -hmm. And there are other people who have written books about this in recent years. So it's not a new phenomenon, but it's new for us in the way that it's happening so often yes. that there is something, definitely something significant going on yes and even for the clients i mean i have a client that i've been working with for several months now and just a very again you mentioned how we work on the fringe so i say it's normal for us where other people are probably thinking well that's not <laughs> that's not normal so normal for us standard past life regression standard standard day in a regression therapist life um mm -hmm. and so for this client very you know he's doing very standard past life work with him and then I saw him for a session last week and we were we we're going through the same process. We were going into the trauma of the past life. He was experiencing it, um, clearing it. And then it just went dead. The session just stopped. Um, and as regression therapists, we're used to this. We're used to ducking and diving and like, okay, well, there's something going on. Let's, let's investigate it. And like you, we went through the three main areas uh, that we work in present life past lives and ancestors lives and it was the same with his subconscious didn't want to work into anything the past life just went dead didn't want to do any of the three so you're just sitting there thinking well okay well <laughs> what you did want to work on this five minutes ago what's happening and then he went into this extraterrestrial life on this barren planet he described it as very kind of rocky and plant or barren and he was on this planet by himself as a steward so he was a steward of bringing life and beauty back in this planet um and it's worth saying too the clients that are going into this they're not they're sitting here questioning it the whole time as they're conversing with us and we almost have to coach them and guide them to please keep going with your first impressions even if you feel like you're making it up because most of them they're coming back with commentary like okay this this is bizarre. I probably saw this in the movie. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and then once they allow themselves to go deeply into it, it's like the information just flows. But similar with your client, it was just this, this peacefulness that washed over him and the physical pain that he's been dealing with all of a sudden just gets knocked down to nearly nothing at the end of the session. And you're just sitting there being humbled just witnessing what is going on um yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing it's honestly amazing yeah, yeah. it's uh, almost uh, like they yeah. broke into the session right <laughs> it's like they broke into the it's session like like, we've, got, we've yeah. got people trespassing in our sessions yes. in the right yeah. way yeah. um yeah. In, in a benevolent way because these beings do appear to be very benevolent mm. and um mm. uh, you know occasionally over the years years ago i had a client who um in in norway and she appeared to have had negative extraterrestrial contact experiences in this present lifetime mm -hmm. uh, that she'd forgotten about she had half memories but um it appears that the that she's had implants put in her energy field um by those negative extraterrestrials um and what we found was that there were some benevolent ones that were connecting with her and they would come into the session energetically and remove those implants uh, mm -hmm. to clear her energy field, which again was weird stuff. But uh, I have a client a couple of weeks ago in, in Vienna uh, and she's a teacher. So, I mean, by the way, we always, I must always emphasize that our clients are not sort of weirdos or new <laughs> agey people who have come to find this, you know, they come with this agenda. They don't at all. Yeah. Clients come with an issue. Like my, this client had a lack of confidence and anxieties. They want the issue fixing. And then the subconscious takes them into these experiences. We don't. Um, but like they're again, more surprised, right? Then they're absolutely we are. For us, we're like, oh, it's okay. This is normal. And they're sitting there thinking that this is totally <laughs> <Yeah>. insane. <laughs> but it, it, it's becoming standard stuff. So this, this 
not normal is becoming the new normal. Uh, and as I said, for me, uh, I do feel that it's, I mean, we can only guess at, at this is much greater than we are. This is a bigger picture. Uh, and I think we can only guess at the reasons for this. But my guess, as I said earlier, is that this is about more and more people being able to connect with the higher energies which are being uh, held and transmitted down onto Earth by these uh, higher beings, by these benevolent extraterrestrials. And then they become these star seeds. It's almost like they are then lighted candles in the darkness here on Earth. Mm -hmm. And the more people that are doing this, of course, then it means the energies here on Earth are changing, becoming lighter. And hopefully then what we're doing is is part of the great awakening which apparently is happening at the moment and um and, and it's a little bit like what was the song at the end of the um monty python meaning to life movie you know about you know hopefully there's some intelligent life out there because he's bugger all down here on earth <laughs> and that, that sort of comes through we need their help i think um so i think it, i think this is very significant we both do and uh and we just wanted to share it with with people who are interested in, in regression and in you know the sort of topics that we cover on these uh, on these, these discussions yeah yeah because it really is fascinating stuff and and the healing i mean i think we should say too that it's i mean that's our end goal it's of course it's great that they're having these experiences but we're here for the therapy and the therapeutic value of it, whether there's a crazy narrative or not, because as we know, some people, they don't even get a narrative or visuals and they're very kinesthetic in their body. Um, yeah. It's not like they're just having these experiences and thinking, well, that was a nice story. And then yeah. there's no effect <laughs> in their day-to-day -day life. It's yeah. these, yeah. these shifts. And some of them, it seems like it's a significant shift. Like, ah, that was the missing puzzle piece yeah a lot of them some are saying to me you know this makes so much sense i have never felt comfortable in my body this has never i've always wondered what i'm doing here i actually also wonder and this is again i'm not sure because i'm just positive this is a possibility if people who are very sensitive and there are we see a lot of clients who are very sensitive um who have thinner skins if they may be ones that are more likely to have these extraterrestrial connections um because it's almost as like the the bit the either been sent here on earth in this lifetime they've incarnated into a human body um maybe against the will i don't know or begrudgingly it's a it's a mission they have to go, go through or willingly as if to say okay i'll come down you know, to be with this dense energy. That's one of my clients. She said it's it's very dense down here. She said when I'm up there, she said it's all very light and very free, and we're all floating around. But down here on Earth, the body feels very dense and thick. Um, and it, it, people, the clients are saying it just makes so much sense. I, now I understand why I've never really felt at home here. Now. I don't for one minute believe that every single client we see, if we were to ask the subconscious the question, have you got, you know, are you from another planet? I don't believe that the subconscious would say yes in most of those cases. I think most of our clients are, are earthlings um, are from earth and have many lives on earth. But there are some clients who, as you said earlier, I don't think they've had that many past lives on earth because they're from these higher places. Mm. And there just seem to be those characteristic traits that you spoke of, especially of not belonging, even from childhood, because we, we do, we often do a lot of work in the present lifetime. And it seems a theme since they were children, just feeling sort of like they don't belong or being an outcast. Um, as well as I was doing some reading too, of all these um, sort of labels that we put on people in the traditional kind of North American medical model and how more and more people that are associating with being star seeds um mm -hmm. they've also kind of had these labels put on them so it's almost like they're they're functioning their you know their emotional capacity their you know their brain capacity is kind of functioning on a different level or maybe like you said they feel it overwhelming here with all mm -hmm. of these dense energies to kind of function on this yes. level 
yeah. Yeah. And I think that, I mean, uh, Mary Rodwell's book, The New Human, mm -hmm. uh, great book. I mean, she's, I think, an Australian hypnotherapist who's worked with 10,000 people who claim to have or think they've had contact experiences with ETs. Yes. And many thousands of these are, are children, many thousands of children. And they're all saying the same thing. They're all saying they're from another place. And these beings are getting in touch with them often in the sleep and often taking them back onto spacecrafts to sort of teach them so that when they're down here, they can start spreading this, this new paradigm uh, of, of, of lightness and love. And of course, they're struggling to fit in. In so many cases, they are struggling to fit in here on Earth. They're struggling at school. They feel different. Um, and when they're stuck in the ridiculous education systems that we have down here, it's like they just can't get it. It just doesn't make sense to them. Um, so that I think this all ties in with, with Mary Rodwell's book as well. I think that's a great book. So, yeah. yeah. No, it is. It is. No, it's just fascinating to be a part of it and to see mm. what's what's happening. I think I joked with you, unless all of our clients that um, are not supposed to know each other somehow know each other and they're, <laughs> they're conspiring <laughs> against us in some way and some hilarious yeah. joke, uh, which I think is very highly unlikely. It's just, it's, it's very mind blowing just to see session after session and people that don't know each other from different parts of the world, um, different age ranges as well too, that mm. This is all yeah. happening to all at the same time. It's yes. yeah. it's really yeah. interesting to observe it. Yeah. I had a, an email this morning, actually, from a client uh, in the States who's a, 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 psycho a retired psychologist. She's in her 70s now. Yes. And she had these experiences uh, last year in our sessions. I haven't heard from her for a while. And she just yes. wrote to me today and said, I just want to thank you for the sessions and let you know it's made, they've made such a big difference to my life. Um, she's really been able to move on with this knowledge that, you know, she's from a different place and she's able to bring those energies through. So It yeah. seems to be comforting too, because you think, well, maybe it would make you more homesick to contact mm -hmm. this, you know, real home and still be stuck in the asylum. But it seems yeah. it's the opposite. It's no, it's comforting that it, it explains, it kind of almost mm. puts a resolution to... Okay, that's why I'm here. This is what I'm doing. I can still be in contact as well, too. I'm not just, you know, plunked down here. And well, yes. good luck on your own. <laughs> that, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. said, clients are opening up these channels yeah. in sessions that seem to be, for some, strengthening as well. Very much so. And it's a, it'd be interesting how, how they develop, how things move on as they develop. You know, I keep saying they've got a, a they've got a, um, a direct line now. It's the ET phone home stuff. They have a direct line to these other beings, and um, you know they they're aiming, I think, to develop that that channeling, that transmission, that ability to transmit the energy, so that they have a clearer direct line to these home beings. Um, and it'll be interesting to see in coming months how that works for them. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. And doubtless we'll be reporting back on it in the future in one of our discussions. So yeah, uh, yeah. something else we can talk about. Yeah, I'd love to get people's feedback too in the comments of yeah, yeah, different yeah, things please. that they're into yes. and reading and experiencing themselves because I'm curious if people are having more of these experiences. I mean, outside of the hypnotherapy sessions as well too in their day-to-day -day lives, how, how other people are feeling the energies in the world yes. right now It'd be yeah, interesting yeah. to get thoughts yeah yeah okay monique well thank you so much great chatting with you again as ever i uh, hope you've all um, enjoyed listening to us and uh, keep tuning in so um lots of love to everybody and bye for now bye <laughs>